Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in Paradise in the end time along the banks of Buckeye Creek above Bridgeport, California here on Wednesday, July 20th, 2016. Me and the little dog are taking a hike up to the Emerald Creek and we're in this lovely meadow along Buckeye Creek enjoying the wilderness and then we turn around and this is what we get uh, this herd of these goddamn planet-eating beef cattle sitting here trampling down this meadow at least they waited for the wild blue flag irises to finish blooming before they brought their goddamn cows up here a few days ago. What uh, these cows are trampling or trampling right here are these are uh, iris, wild blue flag irises that have finished blooming. So here's the all oh, about. 30 feet from the creek we've got this big old cow flop this spring right here uh, this beautiful little spring coming out of these rocks in the meadow completely uh, trashed by these goddamn things uh, this is your sort of your tax dollars at work here in paradise uh, you know, all of these rules about camping along the river, pack it in, pack it out, about how, uh, as there needs to be, you know, burying your shit uh, in the ground with a shovel, uh, all of this stuff to save the planet from humans, and then the U.S. government turns around and lets this happen. This here is the actual source of the spring. Uh, this mud hole. One hour ago, this was a beautiful, natural, not, not a hot spring. This was a cold spring where probably an hour ago I could have dipped a cup in and drank directly out of the water completely obliterated off the face of the planet in the middle of a national forest, the Toyama National Forest. So anyway, we have, we have cleared Sancho Panza, the little cow dog, I guess has terrified this herd of, of beef cattle and uh, sent them packing into the sagebrush so they can take their goddamn shit and their flies and, and their stomping hooves uh, and, and stomp the sagebrush instead of stomping the uh, irises and the springs. This is all so clueless, fat-ass Americans can stuff their faces with hamburgers. And uh, I should read you this thing from the National Forest about why grazing, grazing of both cows and sheep are, are allowed in federal wilderness areas. It's not just our public lands, it's, it's, it's not just even our national forests letting these goddamn things shit in the streams. You know, the, the, the hot spring is just downstream from here. Cows stomping all around, shitting everywhere. Uh, it's not just in the National Forest, even in what they call a wilderness area, where all industrial activities are banned. And if you're a clueless moron, you might think, as I once was, that grazing cattle in wilderness areas uh, 
might be against the law. No, grazing cattle inside a wilderness area is not considered an industrial use. Uh, you know, th this is a tiny handful of millionaire welfare ranchers. The these cows come from this big ass ranch down at the bottom of the hill uh, in, in Bridgeport. It it's these goddamn millionaire uh, welfare ranchers sucking off the tit of the federal government on these joke grazing fees. So a few people can, can pack their uh, pockets with dollar bills by sucking off the tit of the American taxpayer while their goddamn cows uh, trample paradise. You know, it's bullshit, people. It's fucking bullshit. And uh, so enjoy it. So uh, next time you stuff a hamburger into your fat face, you clueless fucking moron, think about these trampled uh, iris plants, this destroyed water spring, the shit flowing down the river. So you can stuff a hamburger in your fat face. Anyway, Sancho Panza says, would you move it along and let's get up to Emerald Creek. See if we can get away from the fucking clueless morons hiking deeper into the woods. Bye guys.